Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, it has become the habit of the Deputy President William Samuel Ruto and even most of his UDA aspirants to apply a tactic of sympathy every time they get to an area where they know they are not popular, an area where they might be facing hostility, so that they can score. This has been manifested in many areas. Anytime we get to some of the Nyanda region and even part of Western region, including Nairobi, Ruto has always applied this tactic. And this could be the reason why Raila Odinga has always come out strongly to condemn William Samuel Ruto on pegging his politics on the tactic of sympathy. That's why he's referring to him as Mr. Sympathy. Even where sympathy does not exist, Ruto wants to get sympathy from that area. And today, the Embarcas East Member of Parliament, Babo Wino, has finally exposed the UDA plan in Embarcas East to make sure that they are using every means possible, including injuring people in Embakasi to make sure that UDA is winning that seat. And that exposure has come through one of their WhatsApp messages involving Oscar Sudi, Honorable Nixon, Nixon Korir, and the Honorable Mreithi, who is the UDA candidate in Embakasi. <laughs> and in that exposure, Babo Wino is showing how UDA is planning to print the ODM t-shirt with the Babo Wino name and give it to the youth so that they can get in the market to start disrupting women to an, to an extent of even beating them. So that it will be seen as Babu Owino was the one organizing youth to beat women. Why are they targeting women? <laughs> now let us go through that WhatsApp screenshot. This is the text from someone responding to Oscar Sudi. Si ya leo imeweza, hii ya embakasi tunachukua. Iko saa wakabisa, sympathy voters utapata sana. Kitu sasa utafanya, kitu sasa unafaa kufanya is organizing many youth wape t-shirt zimeandiko babu for, embaka, for MP na azimio webs na wai, waingie mitani Embakasi, wavuruge wa mama, wawachape sana. <laughs> Respond, the perfect babu is an heavy weight. Na ground yake iko poa, itabidi mreithi, ajipange kabisa, if need be, atumie backups. Huh? I get you, Nana, that, that, that is now mreithi responding. I get you. Good idea. Naona iko sawa. That's simple. I will print them. Nipe wavijana tuko na wao wengi. Wavae wachape wa mama na wavuruge watu ya biashara. Hiyo inaweza haribu babu ground sana. But malls hapa itabidi wasituuz. Was it Uze? Hiyo inaweza ni piga sana. Please let's be careful even for the sake of His Excellency the Fifth. Tunawajua lakini watulie hii nyumba ni kubwa. That is the text. Now, two things here. The truth of the matter could be that this WhatsApp message could be a true message from the UDA WhatsApp group for Nairobi County. Secondly, it might also be fake message. But why? Why was Babu Wino sharing this? And if it's true, why are they plotting for this? That is what we want to try and look into. But before we go deep into that, just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you're not yet subscribed. So my humble request, 
please consider subscribing so that another time once we release a video like this one you will always get notified again to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop comment i must say thank you so much for your unconditional support again i'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that youtube can recommend our videos to more viewers back to our discussion now let's assume this whatsapp message is fake because that is what you dear are trying to say and that is what they would want to hear and if this message is fake then what was the intention of babu wino with such a message in my view babu wino could have been aware of a plan by UDA party, especially for Embakas East, to try and disrupt his peace with the people of Embakas, whom he expects to vote for him in this August election. You can imagine if youth can be put into Babu Owino t-shirt and with a meal, then get to the street and start beating women. What will be the result on ballot? The way Ruto and his allies have always put it that Raila Odinga and his supporter are people who don't like peace. They are distractors of peace. And so, Baba Wino could have been aware that these people are planning to do such a thing. And he decided to go ahead of them and expose a fake message so that it can be a warning to them as early as possible to disrupt their plan. Because tell me, if Mredi and the group had a plan to cause violence in Embakas, then put it on Babu Wino because he will be using Babu Wino t-shirt and as meal. Do you think he will go ahead and do that? The plan here could be to thwart the UDA interest in a Bacchus by use of violence. So that could be one trick Babo Wino was trying to do because how do you go about it? You can report it to police, but that is not enough. <laughs> just, just go ahead of them and even use a fake message to expose them so that you can stop their plan. If they had a such plan, they, it cannot happen as of now. Because if it happened, it will be, but Bowino already had talked about this, so it means what they were planning, have they have again now decided to do it. And the other side of the coin, this can be a true message from UDA side in their plan. But then it can happen that, you know, everywhere you will always have most. I have been telling it, you here time and again that Sorry for that. Both Raila Odinga and William Ruto, they have their malls in every side. If you come to Azimia, you'll find Ruto has his malls there. Even they are paid to leak information. Same thing, if you go to UDA and Kenya Kwanza, you'll find Raila Odinga has his malls deep. And the send of UDA and Kenya Kwanza so that he will always leak information back to him and he can strategize ahead of them. So there can be a possibility someone in this group has leaked out this message to Babu Wino to show him the plan so that he can think on how to counter these people before they execute their plan. And you can see their target is women. The people they are calling Mamamboga. And you know in this country, the trusted vote you will always have is the women constituents. That is the side you can trust. These are the people who wake up early and tirelessly get to queue and vote. But the youth they can disappoint you. They can wake up, get to a line, you see it's long, you get to your business. Because at the end of the day, in the evening, hakuna mutu anayeka chakula kwa meza yako. Inabidi we mwenyewe ujipange. 
Some youth will just get out and go about their business. Because in their mind they are very clear that ata yo kura ni pige ni sipige akura mtu anaeka chakula kwa meza. But with the women you can trust them. They know the importance of voting. So because of that you decide can decide just to target the women. Go and disrupt their business. Kama ni mama anauza nyanya angusha hizo nyanya zake piga hao wa mama aribu hizo biashara zao and you know you are going to anger everyone the buyers and the sellers those people who are selling and those who are buying and the worst thing for someone to do in this election is when you try to pose impunity on women you remember you remember everyone will always have sympathy towards the women and if you go that direction then that's how you are going to lose your vote in this election that's why you see because of mother karua raila odinga has had much more publicity than william samoei ruto because of just the women card so women will always attract sympathy and you see that the people these people are targeting to go and disrupt in the market centers so it can be true the way raila odinga has always Wand William Samoei Ruto trying to thrive on sympathy by causing disruption on people. I have never heard any single time Raila Odinga has called his people on order every time Ruto make claim of disruption of his meetings. The reason could be Raila is aware that Ruto has been planting his own disruption. He has been planting his own stone throwing. And this could just be one of the example of exact things that is always happening in UDA. Remember Mike Sonko one time he openly explained how Jubilee party was giving youth ODM t-shirt. Then get to the market start beating people. Wanaanza kufanya maandamano, rioting. Then put it on ODM Sonko has openly talked about that. So this could be the same thing. Trying to apply the tactic they were using in the Jubilee party now to the UDA party. So that would be a possibility. And if this is the act UDA want to use, this is so heinous. Just to get a, in a market and unato kupiga wa mama. This mamas have wako na watoto. Yani unapiga mama ya mtu. Just because in return, you want that woman to hate someone and vote for you. Look at that impunity. This is some of the issues that should be condemned with the strongest term possible. If really it was true. I don't know what to think about this, but that's my view. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.